So for today's video, you're gonna need just a few things. You're gonna need balloons. These are 12 inch balloons so that I blew up in just various sizes, all the way down to like five inches and up. Didn't want them to be too big because my base isn't as large as when I did the first cutter balloon, so I wanted them to be a little smaller. And then you're gonna need a base for them. I found this cute little box in Hobby Lobby, and I thought it would be perfect because I already have balloons in these colors. These colors are actually the same ones that I did my first one with, minus a few of the colors. You're gonna need some balloon string to tie up your balloons. You're gonna need a pump, unless you plan on doing this by mouth, and you're gonna need some type of sticks to hold up your hot air balloon once you finish um, putting it together. These are sticks that I found on Hobby Lobby, and if I'm not mistaken, oh yeah, here it goes right here. They were, there we go, they were just 59 cents a piece. So yeah, you can cut them down to the size that you want or make it work, and I'm gonna be making it work. And then we're just gonna get started with putting these balloons together. Stay tuned. So guys, as you can see here, my balloon garland is all done. I use the same method that I've used in the past few tutorials that I've done on these. It's just smaller balloons. All I'm going to be doing is taking them on the end and I'm going to bring it together and tie them together to form a circle. And the two balloons that I have in my hands, if you can see those there, are the ones that I'm going to be twisting that's just going to attach them to each other to make the circle that I need. And now that I have that complete, only thing that I have to do now is to get this baby to be a complete circle what I'm gonna do is take a smaller cluster and place it on this side of the balloons um, to kind of round that side out and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side with a smaller garland as well so this is one of the smaller clusters of balloons that I have already prepared I'm just gonna twist them together to attach it to the circle that I made the same way I did with the two on the bottom to actually make the circle so I'm just going to grab two of the balloons and twist them together on the bottom I'm going to do the same thing at the top just twist the balloons to attach them together and this is what it looks like it was super simple and then you just could kind of play with the balloons to push them how you want them to go All right, so the next step was to take another one of my smaller clusters or mini balloon garlands to try to figure out where exactly I needed to place the next one to get the round shape that I needed for uh, this balloon tutorial. So I'm just kind of playing with the balloons and I finally found a spot to place it and I'm just using the same method. I'm just taking two of the balloons, one that was already there, then one from the newer garland and twisting them together to link them together. And then I'm also going to do the same thing at the top. And while I'm doing that, I'm just kind of pushing the balloons in in places, pulling certain colors out and just kind of shaping it to be how I I want it to be um, in order to get that round shape that I needed. This is how it turned out. Nice round ball. I'm just going to fill in a few more of the gaps by moving the balloons around and it'll be perfect. And what I'm going to do is put a little hot glue on the sticks and just place them in the bucket and then the balloons are going to sit right on top. So I'll be back. You can also spray paint your sticks a different color depending on what you get or go with. But I just went with gold. I almost forgot to do that, but I just put a paper towel, paper towel down here really quick. Ran outside and sprayed it. So that's what it looks like with the gold. I love the gold and it goes good because there are actually gold little flakes in the box. As once you have your sticks hot glued in place, all you have to do is sit the balloon cluster right on top. It will stay in place just fine. All right, so once you get to this point, you just have to kind of decide what exactly you want to do with the center. You can do some fake flowers, some fresh flowers, a cute teddy bear or an animal that goes with your theme. All right guys, so for the center of my hot air balloon, I am going to use these flowers from my um, balloon garland floral table runner video and I have a piece of floral foam in here this is actual floral foam for real flowers but that's all I have but they do have fake floral foam that you can buy in craft stores they even have it in the Dollar Tree um the ones from the Dollar Tree look like the ones that I used in my strawberry um chocolate covered strawberry tutorial video so yeah so I'm just going to use this flower foam and place my flowers in here how I want them to be and that's going to help hold them in place 
and I will be back with you guys once I have this part all finished. So before I finish closing in the gap here, I wanted to show you guys what it was looking in, like in the inside, just in case you were wondering, since I'm not filming actually putting the flowers in. All right guys, so this is how the flowers came out. I think it looks super cute. And I guess the last thing to do is show you the final look. super happy with how this project came out I really wish I had an event to use this for but once again I did this just for you guys in case someone needed some inspiration for something and I really do hope you guys enjoyed this I will see you guys on the next vlog bye